Nothing better than a hot bowl of chicken and dumplings on a cold rainy day. Take your bone-in chicken thighs and set them in a decently sized pot. Then fill the pot with enough water to cover the tops of the chicken thighs. I like to start with about a quart of water. From there we're going to add about two tablespoons of salt. Then drop in about three bay leaves. These are kind of small bay leaves, but this is all I had left. Turn your burner to high and give it a quick little stir just to get the salt mixed in. We're going to boil these for about 45 minutes. While that boils, we're going to get our vegetables prepared. I'm going to use an onion, some celery, some garlic, and some frozen peas and carrots. This is just a 16 ounce bag. For now, just get them chopped up and put into a bowl. We're going to use them later. When you're finished chopping up your vegetables, return to your pot and start skimming out all the scum that's risen to the top. You want to make sure that you get every bit of this out of there. Just discard it. There's no use for it and it'll just make your food taste terrible. And again, I can't emphasize this enough. Make sure that you get every bit of it out of there. After 45 minutes, your chicken should be done. Just remove it and put it on a plate so it can cool down. Also, don't forget to take your bay leaves out at this point. So now we have a nice broth going, but we need to add a little bit more. I'm going to use one tablespoon of this better than bouillon, but if you have bouillon cubes, just use one of those. Then I'll drop in one whole stick of salted butter. And finally, add in two cups of water. Now instead of bouillon and water, you can just add two cups of chicken broth. Now just get that stick of butter melted down. If you want, you can just use your wooden spoon and press it up against the hot pot and it'll melt a lot faster. At this point, it's time to add the vegetables. Now it's time for the seasoning. Start with about two tablespoons of black pepper. Then add two teaspoons of dried thyme. And optionally, if you want a little heat, add some red pepper flakes. Give it a good stir and then add your peas and carrots. You don't have to use the full 16 ounces if you don't want to, but I prefer to have a lot of peas and carrots in my chicken and dumplings. Give it another stir and then add about a quarter of a cup of whole white milk. Then one final stir, reduce your heat to medium and let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. At this point your chicken thighs should have had enough time to cool down so that you can work with it. You can either choose to shred it up by hand or do it by knife. Just make sure you get in the size chunks that you prefer. Also, don't be afraid to leave the skin in there. Just make sure that you get that cut up as well. There should be just enough time to make the dumplings. Start with a cup of all-purpose flour. Then add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Then add one and a half tablespoons of oil. I'm going to use olive oil here, but if you want to use vegetable oil, that's fine too. The final ingredient in this is a quarter cup of whole white milk. Next we're going to stir this up just to get it well blended together. We don't want to stir it too much just to make sure that everything's incorporated.
When that's done, we're going to lightly knead the dough, so just flour up your kneading surface. I'm not sure why I used parchment paper here, it just became a big pain for me. I was just better off doing it directly on the countertop. But all we're going to do is fold the dough over itself about 5 or 6 times. We don't want to knead it too much and cause it to be tough. Then roll it to about a half inch to three quarter inch breadstick. Again, it's much easier than I'm making it look. As you can see, I just grabbed it in my hands and made the shape like that. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything. Just get it into the shape that you're looking for. Now that your dumpling dough is ready, your vegetables should have been simmering for about 15 minutes. It's time to start dropping the dumplings into the pot. Now all we're going to do is pinch off a little bit of dough at the end. It doesn't matter how they look or how big or small they are, just get them about the size that you want it. Then drop them straight into the pot. Just keep dropping it in until you get all the dough inside. As the pot starts to fill up, just make sure that you drop your dumplings into an open area in the pot. You want to make sure that you get your dumplings cooked completely here, so let that simmer for about 5 more minutes and then you'll turn the heat off. All that's left is to add back in the chicken. And one final stir to make sure that everything gets mixed in. Now we're ready to enjoy a nice steamy hot bowl of chicken and dumplings. Be extra careful because I know you're going to want to eat it right away. But it's hot so give it a blow if you have to. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.